<laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Lead Stories where we talk to our past alumni and also current students to find out how they're doing and also what they're up to these days. And today we have uh, someone who is in the procurement, more like telco industry. He will tell you more about it. Hi, welcome. Hello, everyone. So uh, my name is Ash. I just recently joined this company as a procurement and purchasing. I already have a three years experience as a back office. I started as a office boy, I could say, and then starting build up my skills here and there. After three years with a different company, and then I jump in a new company. And purchasing is actually new to me. Uh, mostly, I have to liaising with finance and other vendors as well. Core business is actually an internet provider, internet service provider. So we don't we don't provide internet per se. We just take from other existing telco like TM, Cellcom, DG, their internet. We bundle up uh, these internet services with other product as well. How, how do you end up working in uh, this line, procurement and operation? Is it something that you studied before this or is it something you export along the way? I'm more into a generalist kind of person, you know, the generally specialist kind of person. So mm. before this, I was in a different industry. I was in the solar industry actually. So what I want is actually I want to get more of a different kind of skill, problem solving skills. That's why even I took these courses like ZTM courses and all other courses so that I can have a overview of how to solve the problem. I mean, all these skills are transferable and you make a transition. Uh, what, how, how did that felt, that transition period from a non, from a solar industry, right, you mentioned, all the way till now? Uh, I can say that okay, uh, you have to unlearn and learn back. But then the structure is similar. But then the product, you have to learn, like the product knowledge, the service knowledge, I mean, you have to start from the ground. Even now, I have to liaise morely with our internal finance. And oh, it's totally like a new new terms for me. Yeah, I have to learn all the basic stuff. Coming back to basics, yep. It's totally new, right. different, challenging, but then catching up. That's that's a great spirit to have there. Okay. And also, uh, you mentioned about like starting from zero and learning. Yep. Like right now, you're learning about finance, I believe too. <laughs> so, okay. So as, as a generalist, as you mentioned earlier, um, you explore different areas, um, different skills. I believe it's more all transferable in a way. Lah. Well, while well, you make a job transition, what makes you look into um, what development skills? Is it something uh, you felt that is it an on-job requirement or is it a, like you have some difficulties you faced in the past? Life is short. <laughs> Life is short. So I just want to get all these different kind of set of skills so I can, for example, I, uh, the framework that I learned from the past, I can bring it up here. For example, like uh, previous company, we are used into this Slack communications, Slack tools. Mm. But uh, now we are using a Microsoft Teams. So it's a totally two different tools. But the communication, the way they do it, I can transfer here. I mean, the way they organize the communication, I can transfer here. For example, here in this new company that I joined, they, do, they don't mm. use it if they are using Excel. Like it is very difficult. So what I can do is I can bring it up from my previous company. I can bring that kind of skills to here. So now they are using Collaborate tools. I think I think many Malaysian companies uh, try to go digital, but they are not fully digitalized. So yes, uh, right now, even well. there is a lot of papers here and there. Okay, so you recently embarked on this journey of picking up web development through Zero to Market, yeah. one of our programs. Um, like, what is your biggest challenge at at the time before even you know joining this Zero to Market? Previously, as I mentioned, I worked in the solar industry, but then I have to liaise with different kind of vendors, right? So there is one challenging where when I want to liaise with IT vendor, like for example, like all these web development, so I don't yeah. have that kind of technical knowledge, totally zero. So at least when I want to speak up with them, yeah, it's quite to understand what they want. I mean, what my boss want, what they want, and what the technical thing they want. Because uh, at least having a lot, a little bit of background of this web development, for example, like we need HTML, CSS, and all these back-end tools. So now yeah. that I have uh, kind of understanding like all the terms, uh, so at least I can communicate clearly with them, ask whatever my team want and what they can provide. Yep. Wow, that, that, that is wonderful. I mean, in yeah. fact, overall, I think communication is key though for, for business yep. users and your technical uh, team. Yeah. When, before you join uh, Zero to Market, is there like, you do you self-learn it or anything? I try to learn, but then I try okay. to watch YouTube, but then it's because of the work and then there's no push. <laughs> there's no urgency there. So sometimes you procrastinate things. You know? I, I need something, like, I need something to actually like uh, like a small goal, small achievement that, okay, I already finished this phase. Let's go to the next phase. Yep. That's what I was looking for. Right, it's right. So it's everywhere. The knowledge is everywhere. Mm. If you use YouTube, like it's the knowledge everywhere. So you can't really <laughs> understand. So yep. in other words, it's, it's like uh, information overload like, out there. Uh, yeah, yes, information. information. Yep. 
and you do not know where to get started or maybe you get started already but you kind of get lost uh, in a way yes right? yes I think what what would you say you are different right now um from compared to before getting into zero to market is it perhaps like career opportunities is it some wins at work or mindset shift it could be both actually so actually okay. also after the ZTM also uh, I think hmm. I, I browse through now that I know like okay this is what I want to look for like for even in the GTM project, there's a structure, right? I mean, there is a syllabus that I can take it from there. So if you want to go deeper, I just take that uh, GTM program and I can Google it up, YouTube, and watch YouTube and take even take a different courses for that particular things just to improve that area. Even now, even uh, I can go to Facebook, uh, web developer memes, and I can really understand the joke. So you, you're able to get the lingo and understanding of basic, uh, um, like what is behind what applications in fact, and also websites yes. in a way. What is something that you love about program? I think the community lah, community. I think the one that pushing me is like the community, because when okay. we achieve something and then we stuck there, uh, I I think there's community that there is a community that try to help to solve it, and even the community can help. Doctor Lau can have it. I mean, I have. They have this policy where they will not leave us uh, hanging. What forty eight hours? <laughs> That's why they have the call yeah. in between. So, from everything that you have gone through, is what is your best advice for people picking up web development, especially if they are like you, who has no tech or no IT background? Take it slow. Take it slow. Uh, everyone can achieve it. I mean, even I, which no, I, I don't have any knowledge about web development. Just take one step at a time, and then if you can't follow, just ask a lot of questions. They are there to help, and there's no such stupid question. Just ask questions. Okay, thanks for that advice. I think that that is a very important advice because uh, in technology things keep changing, so uh, you have to learn the basic first. Yeah, the fundamentals. That's I think you pretty much pick that up through zero to market and the founding mantles actually help you to go forward and take your time yes why why i say that is because i think a lot of uh, people they thought taking a course could actually help them to wow well, build the next lazada or shopee or such a big thing but it doesn't happen overnight lah. yeah we, we, we know that it, it takes like a journey a few months time to actually uh, build that kind of uh, yeah from from zero man yeah okay so any any last words for dr lao and for the team thank you uh, dr lao and all the teams i mean you actually help me to understand web development itself because initially I was thought that web application and website is the same thing but then it's totally different <laughs> I think yeah even I can start my own web, uh, web, web app and then probably the next thing that I want to look for is mobile apps because from the web applications I want to go into web web, uh, web mobile apps alright thank you so much uh, Ash for your time for today and those who are watching in and uh, so spending your time to listen to us thank you so much and see you in the next video